Welcome back, everyone. I'm Ken Watling, live in Kenston tonight, just outside UNC Lenore Healthcare, as our week long tribute to healthcare workers across the East continues. We've been at different hospitals all week long, and while many of the stories at all of those facilities are the same, each community is dealing with the coronavirus a little bit differently. And to learn more about what's going on here at UNC Lenore, we're joined now by one of the nurses here, Donna Keith, and thank you so much for being with us. You're a 43 year veteran of the nursing profession, three years here though in your hometown at Kinston and I'm guessing these last two months have been really a challenge. They have been. It's been a lot different than it had in the past. Um, we've had to do things differently but we've we've met the challenge. Yeah. You've worked in a lot of great hospitals down in Carteret County. You used to work at Vited, worked at Wake Med and Raleigh, but here in your hometown, in your community, what does it mean to you to be here as a beacon of hope for people who are dealing with something so unprecedented? I think the biggest thing here in Kinston is that I know a lot of people. I was born in Kinston, um, so this is my hometown, and I know right now with visitors not being able to be with their loved ones, they depend on the nurses and the nursing staff, and I think we've done an excellent job with that. And without the families being able to come into the hospital, they, they have to get creative and they look to you to be able to help them. They do, and we try our best to make it as much like a family as we can. And you work on the COVID-19 floor here at the hospital. Uh, kind of take us through maybe a day in the life uh, of what that that takes for you to get in there, start working, and then all the things you have to do to be able to go home to your family. Well, first of all, I, I come in ready to work, but we get checked in. Um, we're asked if we have any symptoms or any problems. We get our temperature taken, and then we go check in our mask and put on our equipment and go to work. And um, it's really like a normal work day. We, we think of it the same. You're a little bit more careful, I think, yeah. in knowing when you touch people that you can't get right in their face. Um, the patients wear masks, we wear masks, we have to prepare them for that, and we explain that to them. You know, we're saying thank you to healthcare workers all week long, but I'm guessing you're getting a lot of feedback from people in the community. How does it make you feel to, to know that you're appreciated? It's wonderful, and in Kinston, I can't say that anybody's been any better than this down. Um, we've had Bojangles give us um, lunch, we've had other people bring lunch, um, bring gifts to us, um, give us gift cards um, to go to the restaurants, um, and it's been very nice. And our friends here in Kenston at Bojangles, they're donating gift cards to the workers at all the hospitals we visited this week, including here at UNC Lenore. Donna, thank you so much for all you do, and thanks for being with us. You're very welcome. Thank you. Stay with us. We've got more from tomorrow in Greenville, up Highway 11 at Vidant Medical Center as we wrap up our week-long thank you to the East Healthcare Heroes.